In this video, I'm going to sit and watch a content creator explain how to become a bigger content creator. And while we do that, we're going to attempt to farm gift subs and Twitch primes from our viewers and then post this to YouTube so that people will subscribe on YouTube and I can make more money on YouTube and more money on Twitch and have more followers, bigger number, better person. All right, boys. So every streamer's dream is to make it big or be like this big, you know, you know, big guy, you know, bigger number, better person. That includes me. Uh, my dream is obviously to be a full-time content creator. I, I definitely want to bring content to the people that watch my content. Um, you know, make their life a little bit better day by day with my content. That's kind of the goal. It's not so much about the money or being selfish or anything, but going full time, being able to, you know, live my life and take care of my family and all that stuff via content creation. That's a dream. I am um, not the best, but today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take notes from a bigger streamer boys on how to become a bigger streamer slash content creator slash youtuber slash guy that makes people laugh so that's what that's what i'm going to do today my favorite content creator <laughs> it's, it's, it's ludwig surprise surprise I actually put out this video called ludwig's three tips for streaming and what we're going to do today guys is we're actually going to watch this video and take notes and see if there's things that we can do to improve not only our stream quality, but as far as, but as well as our YouTube content as well. So I tweeted out, like this tweet if you want to become a big streamer. And I tweeted this for two reasons. One, I wanted Twitter likes. Please follow me on Twitter for the love of God. I don't have enough followers and I need more because bigger number equal better person. Oh, Coggy out here gifting subs. It might, it might, but why, why is my, what the heck is my, what, what, what the heck? My camera stopped working. Coggy, you broke, you broke my camera. Um, unplug it and plug back in. Okay, yeah. Technical difficulties, boys. I'm going to try to fix this. I don't know at what point my camera stopped working, but we're back now. <laughs> back to the video. <laughs> I'm only okay person. I want to be great person. Great person, one million. One million, big person, big person, better person. And also, I was genuinely curious how many people want the job of a streamer. I remember Mr. Beast tweeted something similar maybe a few months ago about being a youtuber and it had hundreds of thousands of likes copying other streamers kind of kind of cringe you know copying their content using them for content imagine okay well cocky out here gifting another sub pog you i think people like the idea of being a streamer or youtuber or content creator <laughs> i had to check if it broke it this time because well like the, if, if, it, if it broke it the first time and it broke it the second time you would have way too much power as well uh, let's just be frank it allows you to play video games for a living make your own hours and potentially make buku bucks we don't care nearly as much about the buku bucks but it, it is a perk and so i thought it would be helpful if I imparted some of my knowledge to uh, to Twitch chat and to YouTube on how to make it as a streamer, at least as far as I know. I'm not the end-all authority on this. I really don't believe that I am, but I think that I've never really seen a big streamer talk about it, either because they don't want to or <laughs> most likely because they're just lazy and can play video games and get more viewers anyway than making a 20-slide PowerPoint presentation that probably took them a few hours and they misspelled a lot and don't make fun of them for doing that. Same though. I'm extremely lazy, hence why I'm using another content creator to make a video for YouTube. There'll be less typos though. All the knowledge I have rolled up into one PowerPoint presentation and the PowerPoint presentation is called How to Make It Big as a Streamer. Why listen to me? Uh, that's a fair question. Well, I'll tell you why. Grow. So stick around. You might learn something. And while you're here, subscribe. Hey, it only takes a few seconds. You know, sometimes the YouTube algorithm will unsubscribe you. Maybe double check. Turn it from red to gray. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe. Subscribe. You heard him. You know, he, he, he literally just said it. So like, to red to gray. Pog you. Yeah. Do you want to be a streamer? Yes, I do. That's it. That's how it starts. This is it. Now, maybe on the surface level, you'll be thinking, well, yeah. Yeah, I want to be a streamer. Are you kidding me? I play video game, make millions of dollars, work on own hours? Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. Yes, I want to be streamer. Well, yes, I want to be streamer. Write this down. Okay. This is not all right. A joke. All right. All right. Being very all right. So here, here, he said, write this down. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to write this down. Put a start date. Okay. So I'm already, um, you know, streaming 
pretty consistently, I like to say. But my YouTube content is basically non-existent at this point. So uh, let's say, let's get some, some streams going so I can get YouTube content. Let's say April 15th and then one year goals. So one year goals. First, I want to, I want to get 500 followers on Twitch. And then I think I, w I want to get to 2000 subs on YouTube. I want to have a consistent upload schedule of two videos per week. Oh, and I want average of 25 viewers. I think these are reasonable. Yeah, these are pretty reasonable. I have to do the, the content creators. Creators, I, I want to emulate. Um, obviously, the man himself. Um, the big man. Love me some Jay Schlatt. Um, this one is a little bit of a different one. He doesn't actually stream on Twitch, but I really enjoy his YouTube content. It's, it's a lot of like um, movie and TV related content. And I really love that content. I think I think it's really cool. He does really good like discussion videos and stuff like that. I, I really like his content. Omni is more of a commentary ch type channel. He's he's super pog. Like he's super easy. He's super relatable. He's down to earth. He's really chill. Um, he kind of talks about like some like internet drama and stuff, but it's nothing like super super crazy. So here here are the things. He he, he said write this down. You know, we put here's our start date April fifteenth, twenty twenty one. Our goals are five hundred followers on Twitch, two hundred subs on YouTube consistent upload schedule of two videos per week and then an average of 25 viewers oh i think this these are, this is pretty good so let's see what else he has to say very serious i want you to write this down i know it's a bit corny all right try to do it on pen and paper if you don't have it you can do it on your phone notes and take a screenshot but really actually do this write this down just write some date where you're going to start achieving something you've been saying you're gonna okay so what I did is my start date is when I actually start taking it seriously. So I think that's I think that's reasonable. I think that's fine. I think that that fits the criteria. Number two, write your goals for one year out. This is my goal for the end of 2021. I think that's what 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 I, what I want to do is I want to hit all of these these landmarks by the end of 2021. Like that, that's what I want. Success isn't based on how big of a streamer you are. It's based off the goals you set and your ability to achieve them in a certain time frame. Three to five creators you want to emulate. Not necessarily that you like because maybe you like Shroud, but you don't frag like Shroud frag. I chose Ludwig, obviously, because I really like his personality. He's, su he's super chill. Like, I, th I think he's super funny. Like, that's that's def he's definitely one that I want to emulate. Jay Schlatt is very similar in a lot of regards. He's super funny, but he's also got, like, a really funny sense of humor. So, it's like, it's, like, super dark and, like, makes fun of, like, modern-day shit or however you want to talk about it. And uh, he's super funny. And I already kind of talked about the other two. These are my stream ones. I wanted to hit 2,000 subs, 100,000 followers, 1 million unique viewers. I want it to be punctual, and I want it to go full-time. And I went four for five. Four for five is pretty good. That is pretty good. Four for five, we'll take 80%. That's a B minus. That's a 3.0. Chat, I only have four. I have four goals. I can do this. I can do better than Ludwig at... The goals i can do it at the end of the day i was able to set goals and then hit them i hit these goals by the end of 2018 and then i was able to keep going exactly exactly i don't miss i just don't i've never seen a three out of four i've never seen it never in my life have i seen a three out of four four out of four all day baby that's it 100 percent all day every day sheer perfection sheer i can't think of something funny to say I fucked it up. I fucking lost it. Shit. You can reflect. You can be like, hey, I went 0 for 5. My goal is to hit. <laughs> imagine not hitting any of your goals in a year. Just imagine that. Like, could not be me. Could not be me at all. Not going to happen. 4 for 4 all day, baby. Go a man who has maybe 1,000 viewers, 2,000 viewers, but 10,000 subs. If you sub to him, unsub, and then resub three months later, this is true. Mango will remember, and he'll call it out. He'll be like, oh, uh, Pirate Oliver. Hey, uh, you're a resub. Aren't you used to sub like three months ago? The fact that people just sub to big streamers a lot like, is actually insane to me. Because like, anytime I get a sub, it's like the hypest thing on the planet. But like, big streamers 
get lots of sub all day, every day, go live, make hundreds and buku dollars. That's what they do. People sub all time, have thousand subs. And I'm just like, yo, thank you for the sub, bro. Like, that's just the way that it is. Like, small streamer life is hard. If you didn't write Thanks anything down, but you want to be a streamer, this is the number one best thing you can do. The absolute only lesson to take away from today if you want to bake it big on Twitch. Quit. Fucking quit right now. That is my advice to you. Yeah. If you didn't even take the one to two minutes to write something down from a man who is a top 100 streamer who knows a thing or two, who knows a thing or two, then I promise you, you We're will gonna make not it. You heard him. If you didn't write it down, you won't make it. I wrote it down, means I'm going to make it. Ludwig, Ludwig said it here. He said it, proved it, confirmed. I'm going to make it. I'm going to be the next big streamer on Twitch. Let's go, baby. It is 6.9 million. Nice. 6.9 million unique streamers every month. There are 45,400 partners. Those are people who I would say have made it. Uh, honestly, if you're a smaller streamer, the amount of money you will make will be higher uh, because people like supporting smaller streamers, so you'll have more whales. People like to give money to small streamers. Interesting. I am small streamer. Yeah, people don't like to give me money. Cap! That doesn't happen. I'm just kidding. Obviously, people... Oh, God. <laughs> I was kidding, Kage. That's not what I was trying to do, but... <laughs> I wasn't trying to get you to spend money on me. <laughs> but thank you. You, you. you the real MVP. We appreciate that. Please pay your editors, by the way. Don't have to worry about paying your editor if you are your own editor. Shout out to me editing this video if you're watching it on YouTube. But if you did write things down and you did actually do what I told you to do, anyone can take advice from the second part. How do you stream? That's easy. I pressed the go live button. That's a stupid question. Who the fuck doesn't understand how to stream? Streams are recordings. That's what it is in 2021. Already ahead of the game, <sighs> using this to put on YouTube. Already ahead of the game. It's I'm just a five head man. You know, I'm just I'm just ahead of the curve. I know what I'm doing. This is how I know I'm gonna make it. Right here. This is this is how I know. Right here, because I'm I'm already using. You know, I'm I'm streaming this right now live, and uh, this was going to be on YouTube. Feels good to be good. Next, uh, structured format is better content. This is general advice, but generally, YouTube videos are structured. I think we kind of know that. You know how a YouTube... I will say this actually makes a lot of sense because I did YouTube before I started streaming and like having a plan for what you're doing as opposed to just talking to a void and just kind of rambling like makes for better videos. So and it also makes it a lot easier to edit like because you're like, you know, part A, part B, part C, part D. Like you have all that that you can realistically do in the editing process. As long as you record all of that, it makes it to where you can do everything kind of in one take. So that makes actually a lot of sense. And using, you know, streams in the same way, actually, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's time to start formatting your streams around your YouTube videos. So you have to stream. Take note of that. Format streams around YouTube videos. I'll have segments for YouTube. And I'll stream those segments, and then I'll have, like, filler time in between. And then I'll have some things that aren't for YouTube. And that's fine, but you need to have some segments. Very roughly, they work like this. They'll have an uh, introduction. An introduction to the idea, to what the segment is while you're streaming. I'm going to give you an example of a YouTuber doing this, because I think that this is probably the single best YouTuber. And they get a credit for a lot of other things, but they don't get a lot of credit for this at introductions. And that's, of course, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast... I think he's the best YouTuber at doing introductions. And even though we're talking about streaming, I take away, and you also can take away, how to do these intros on Twitch. Let's just take a look at this. In this video, we are going to be eating $100,000 golden ice cream. I'm blown away. This is so good. $5,000 mac and cheese. This mac and cheese is magnificent. $30,000 banana foster. Ooh, that's incredible. And so much more, starting off with $100 ice cream and working our way up. That was 19 seconds top to bottom. And what did the introduction do? Let's talk about it. Let's break it down. It introduced the idea, the concept, what they're doing in the stream. All right, so explained it. If you're going to be watching what's happening. Two, it introduced stakes. 
Stakes are an integral idea into every stream. You need stakes in whatever you do. It just makes it better. Okay. So I'm going to try this. Okay. <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to sit and watch a content creator explain how to become a bigger content creator. And while we do that, we're going to attempt to farm gift subs and Twitch primes from our viewers and then post this to YouTube so that people will subscribe on YouTube and I can make more money on YouTube and more money on Twitch and have more followers, bigger number, better person. Let's go! When you stream for YouTube, the beautiful thing about it is your stream is better, but also you get a YouTube video that is very easy to edit. You can True. just edit down because everything's built in and you get to trim out all the fat until you have just this beautiful lean YouTube video that is the 20 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is of gold of the 30 minute hour recording. Form ideas around titles. So if you have the title of what you're gonna do, you can form the idea around it. And that's kind of like all- So the name of this YouTube video should be how I took tips to become a bigger streamer. I, I like where your head's at. How I milked two viewers for 35 subs. I like it. No, make it, I'm the fastest growing streamer. That's pog. That's good. I like that. How I became how I became the fastest growing streamer on Twitch. I like it. I like it. Let's run it. Also, one more note on collabs. Please don't be lazy about it. I get an email every day about someone saying, "Hey, can we do an interview? I have an interview where I interview big streamers." It doesn't and maybe I'm wrong. Feel like these people are all huge Larry King fans who love the art of the interview. So what he's saying is I should DM him on Twitter every single day saying collab question mark with the with this face in emojis if i do that every day for like six months then he'll do a collab with me or block me blocking me is probably the more likely the people who have really succeeded in collabs with larger streamers have done things and bear in mind all streamers are lazy that the streamers really like enjoy and it's so, it's so, I promise you, painlessly free to interact with streamers. And just look no further than the Dr. Disrespect Alleyway song. That was made by a man called J plus one. And you might be asking, well, who's that guy? Well, this is the guy who took Banger a, of a song clip of Doc singing while playing Warzone, I believe, called Give Him Love, and then made it into a fire song. And when Doc wants a song... He's like, well, I'm hitting up J plus one. So which one of you fucks has something to offer my stream? Big, Kage again with, with the, the gift subs? And that, your size and we'll take that. that. If that's what you have to offer the stream, well. I will. We, we will take that. Getting outside traction from a community. You don't just have to post to the void of YouTube and hope that some people find it. I was a part of the Super Smash Brothers Melee community. In a very genuine... Okay, so those of you guys don't know, I started YouTube in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Um, and branched off into variety content and everything like after the fact. So I built up uh, over a thousand subs on YouTube via the Yu-Gi-Oh, like Yu-Gi-Oh content creation. That's where I guess where I got my start. Cause I played competitive Yu-Gi-Oh for like almost 10 years. Like I still kind of play casually right now, but that's just cause COVID, but like, that's where I got my start. So uh, I want to see where he goes with this. To get noticed in a community that small. When I post on their subreddit a YouTube video I made and get traction that way, than to just post on the YouTubes. That is a lot harder. I promise you that is a lot harder. So if you have a community you're in, and it does have to be authentic, right? You can't, people are smart. Like people are smart. People can tell very quickly when you're inauthentic or like clout chasing and they'll call you out for it and it'll be a mess. It won't be worth the time. But if you're in a community in an authentic way, you can make content for it. You can grow within that community. And then after doing that, expand that to something else. Variety, streaming, whatever it is. You know what I mean? A lot of... So that's literally what I did. Nice. Being a part of it and growing within there. And then maybe you can grow on, let's just call it mainstream. And finally, the last way to grow. So just for, just for context real quick, um, here is my YouTube. And I have a ton of videos, as you guys can see. But if we actually look, my most recent video is 27 views. And then, this, and this is what I've been doing here lately, right? So if we look back, and when I was doing Yu-Gi-Oh content, my views 
were like so much so much higher like look 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 at this so 27 views on my last video right if we go back to there i've got 648 views 4.9k 1k 2.5k like it's insane my first time dabbling in variety content oops like 1k views 1.5k 2.10k views look 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 at this a year ago i had 10k views and literally 27 views i did what he said why am i not bigger yet what is going on i don't even have triple digits in my last five videos look at this like I'm, th this was a good one th th this is my best video i've ever made like hands down but anyway back to the video what do you stream this is a very basic question that people always ask it's maybe maybe the number one question what do you stream ludwig okay good question what do you stream sure okay let's talk about it i first and foremost think this question is probably talked about too much because as long as you are doing everything in these streams like recordings section then what you stream isn't as important you know what i mean because you can really make anything work there is one thing that i've done that will always work it's tried and true this is the number one thing you need to stream to make it big the yoink and twist baby whatever let's go context 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 This video right here, I raced the internet. Wikipedia speed race or speed run. Did that, did that with rye bread on stream. Let's go, baby. Already ahead of the curve. Look, I'm not saying to carbon copy because people notice, people will make fun of you. You can't just do it one to one because honestly, you won't do it as good most of the time anyway. You can yoink. And that's why every time I say boys, it just doesn't land. It just do doesn't land at all. I could have, you know, Popcorn Castle playing in the background. It, it, it just doesn't land the way that I want it to because I'm not Ludwig and I will never be Ludwig. This is why we brought up the three to five creators. Who did you write down? Look right now who you wrote down. Who are the three to five that you want to emulate? Yoink and twist. Take content from others and mix it up because at the end of the day very simply this is how streaming and more importantly youtube work you do things throw shit at a wall one day shit hits sticks stays and you have to keep doing that thing you have to keep pumping out that shit while also having r and d for new shit to be thrown and eventually stick as well and you can think of every creator you like They've all gone through this same formula. The main idea is when you do something that works, you keep doing it, all right? Which brings me to a quote. This is the most important quote and the most helpful quote I have ever come across for streaming or YouTube. I think about it almost every day. At a certain point, growth becomes more about consistency than creativity. That's from Reckful. Now, I'm not trying to farm sad, Rip. but this genuinely has been one of the most helpful things anyone's ever said, and it is so true. When you do something that works, you keep doing it. You don't have to come up with new ideas. That's exhausting. It's tiring. It'll take too much time. It won't be worth the effort. And that brings us to our final slide. If you want to make it big on Twitch, you want to be a bigger streamer than me, you're just starting out, you simply have to be better. You have to be a better streamer than I am. So whatever you're doing, it cannot just be what I'm doing. You need to do it better than me if you hope to get bigger than me. That's the plain, simple truth. And <laughs> like that's hard. <laughs> Be better than Ludwig. It's easy, man. Easy claps, easy dubs all day, every day. Better than Ludwig. <laughs> Ludwig, you better than me? <laughs> no shot. No fucking shot. And that's it. That's all I got for you. That is all the tips I have. That's my entire spiel thank you for that ludwig i appreciate the information just as a recap for us the notes that we took from the video so my start date to take everything seriously starts april 15th 2021 our goals 500 followers on twitch by the end of the year 2000 subs on youtube a uh, consistent upload schedule of two videos per week that's not that difficult if i stream enough and i make good enough content and then i have an average of 25 viewers while streaming those are my goals for the end of 2021. Creators that I want to emulate, Ludwig, obviously, 
Jay Schlatt, Holden Hardman, which uh, I highly recommend you check out his channel if you like uh, like nerdy movies and TV shows. Like, highly recommend it. Great content. And then Omni for more of a laid back commentary style. So the notes that we actually took format streams around YouTube videos. So, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. Intro sets stakes and what's going to happen. So that's uh, when we actually do, you know, the video itself, stream in segments, do large events to help grow, and then I market that as well. Yoink and twist, take the content from others and mix it up, give it our own personal flair. Throw shit at wall till shit sticks. So just keep trying a bunch of shit until something actually works. Once something works, keep it up, create consistency, consistency over creativity, and be fucking better. So yeah, that was the that was Ludwig's tips to become a better content creator slash streamer slash YouTuber. And um, it's pretty informative. Definitely uh, definitely set me up to uh, for success. And I look forward to implementing the things that I've learned in this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Otherwise, comment, and I will see you next time. Peace.